नमस्तीयतिराय विवेकानंदसूर सच्चे सुखस्वूपाय स्वामीने तापहारिने स्वामीने तापहारिने डियर फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सब्जेक्ट व्हाट इज सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस काज वी हैव लॉट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन्स वी हैव लॉट ऑफ मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग वी हैव हर्ड दिस वर्ड मेनी टाइम्स सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस आत्मविश्वास आत्मश्रद्धा बट व्हाट डज इट मीन मेनी टाइम्स वी डोंट नो एनीथिंग अबाउट दिस वी ओनली टॉक अबाउट दैट एंड दैट्स वाई टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस सब्जेक्ट इन डिटेल्स सो दैट देर विल बी नो कन्फ्यूजन एट ऑल इन युअर माइंड क्लियरली यू विल नो वॉट इज सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस so when we say self confidence there are two words only there are two words first one is self other one is confidence now now we should know the meaning of both what is self and what is confidence it is very interesting now suppose i ask your name what is your name you will say myself yes yes yourself so my my name is ramesh now when he is telling my name is ramesh and when he is telling myself myself is ramesh that means he is calling himself as self myself here you see very clearly we know that we are calling this body as self that what does it mean body is self mind is self intellect is self heart is self or consciousness is self what is self so many times we get confused now you see when i ask your name you say my name is ramesh now you are calling that myself is ramesh that means you think that you are ramesh and that is your self see dear friends when we say self confidence that means self includes everything body mind complex plus consciousness all this put together is self sometimes we call this body as self sometimes we call mind as self sometimes we call intellect as self but all these things are included in self and unless and until we develop all these faculties we cannot say i have full confidence in me no we cannot say it's very difficult now when we talk about body i am ramesh that means i am body that means i am self now the body is also equally important because body is also the part of self cause we are combination of matter and consciousness it is a jiva we have taken up this body now here is a mixture and therefore when we say self everything is included in that now when you say i am body doesn't matter cause the body also is a part of self until and unless we have physical strength we cannot have confidence how can we develop confidence suppose you are weak and if somebody is coming to beat you can you face that person confidently no you cannot face you will try to run away that's why upanishad says nayam atma balahinena labhya 
दिस आत्मन कैन नॉट बी रियलाइज बाय वीक पर्सन दैट मीन्स युअर बॉडी शुड बी स्ट्रांग अनलेस यू आर हेल्दी अनलेस यू आर स्ट्रांग यू कैन नॉट फेस चैलेंजेस इन लाइफ यू विल ट्राई टू रन अवे सी स्वामी विवेकानंदाज लाइफ देर आर टू वंडरफुल इंसिडेंट्स द फर्स्ट इंसिडेंट इज वेन यू वॉज ट्रैवलिंग इन ए ट्रेन टू ब्रिटिशर्स दे वर सीटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम नाउ दे वर ऑल द टाइम क्रिटिसाइजिंग स्वामी विवेकानंद फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट विथ हिम स्वामीजी जब जस्ट केप क्वाइट ही डिड नॉट प्रोटेस्ट ही डिड नॉट से सिंगल वर्ड He was simply listening. When next station came, Swami Vivekananda asked that TT, "Sir, can you get me a glass of water?" Now, when Swami ji opened his mouth and when he started asking in English, these Britishers were surprised. They said, "Swami, all the time we are talking about you, criticizing you." finding fault with you but you did not protest even you did not say single word swami ji became serious then he he, he told my dear friends this is not the first time i am seeing fools like you see what a daring what a confidence my dear friend this is not the first time i am seeing fools like you before that also many people criticized me when swami ji said fools like you they became angry and when they got up swami ji also got up and when they saw that swami ji's figure they were frightened they simply kept quiet and sat down now swami ji could handle them he could make them quiet because he had strength in his body he can face the challenge he knew that i can handle these two people from where that confidence has come to him because he was physically strong and that's why swami ji said we want muscles of iron and nerves of steel my dear friends you will be nearer to heaven by playing football than reading bhagavad gita go play football make your body stronger then you can understand bhagavad gita better so our physical aspect also is equally important unless we develop that we cannot have confidence in ourselves a weak person cannot say confidently i can manage anybody and everybody he cannot say because he is physically weak so therefore to develop self confidence we have to develop our health also we have to develop physical strength also then only we can face problems we can face challenges then only we can have confidence within ourselves otherwise it is very difficult then next is our mind is mind a self mind also is a part of self because bhagavad gita says uddhare daatmana atmanam anatmanam avasadaye atmayeva atmana bandhu atmayeva ripuratmana so here krishna is telling uddhare daatmana atmanam that means he is talking about mind your mind should be strong you did not go you should not go into depression uddhare daatmanat manam save yourself by yourself natmanam avasadeed don't look down upon yourself you are your own enemy and you are your own friend that means your mind is your enemy and your mind is your friend here when krishna is talking atma he is talking about the mind if your mind is beyond your control that mind will behave like your enemy if that mind is under your control the mind will behave like a friend 
सो अवर माइंड इज अवर एनिमी एंड अवर माइंड इज अवर फ्रेंड ऑल्सो वेन द माइंड इज फुल ऑफ ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ निगेटिव इमोशन्स एंगर हेट्रेड जेलसी ग्रीड लस्ट इट इज अवर एनिमी बट अवर वेन अवर माइंड इज प्योर वेन वी हैव लव कंपैशन स्पिरिट ऑफ सर्विस डेडिकेशन डिवोशन देन दैट सेम माइंड इज अवर फ्रेंड इट कैन हेल्प अस सो देर फॉर हेयर टू डेवलप कॉन्फिडेंस वी हैव टू डेवलप मेंटल स्ट्रेंथ अवर माइंड ऑल्सो शुड बी इक्वली स्ट्रांग यू सी अर्जुना सेड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू फाइट ही वॉज फ्राइट बिकॉज हिज माइंड वॉज वीक ही वॉज फुल ऑफ फियर दो ही हैड फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ ही कूड हैव इजीली मैनेज बट वॉट इज अ यूज ओनली फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ हिज माइंड वॉज वीक He said, "No, no, I don't want to fight." When he saw that Kaurava, their army is number is huge, he got frightened. Then Lord Krishna says, "What, Arjuna? I know you are a hero. You are a Maharathi. You are a Arya Putra. You are talking like this. Doesn't befit you." Then he awakened that spirit in him. He said. Give up this weakness of heart, stand up and fight. Klaibya masma gama partha naitatvayu papadyate kshudram ridaya dorbalyam tyakto tishta parantapa. Arjuna, this kshudram ridaya dorbalyam, the weakness of heart, you give up. Get up, stand up and fight. Arjuna got back that confidence. Lord Krishna was able to awaken that spirit in him. and he could succeed see that is called mental strength in our mind there should be courage there should be fearlessness there should be strength then you can face any problem confidently but your mind is weak you cannot have confidence see subhash chandra bose what a courage a single man ready to fight against british and he created that uh, army azad hind sena how much courage you need to fight with uh, government but only single man how much work he could do british were frightened by azad hind sena that was the man of courage he had that confidence i can manage jhansi ji rani we know the queen queen of jhansi how much confidence she had how much courage how much strength she could uh, alone stood against british shivaji maharaj you see how he could face the abdul khan it was not so easy such a height that person so strong and hefty shivaji maharaj do he was a short but he had confidence in him i will manage that person see you need courage you need mental strength not to run away from the problems and at the same time your mind should be steady you should not get perturbed and disturbed many problems will come happiness will come misery will come everything will come in life but you have to maintain your balance if your mind is disbalance then you will lose you will lose everything not only confidence you will lose your entire life you will go into depression you will be good for nothing you will not be able to do anything in this world therefore mental strength is also equally important and that is also the part of our personality when we say self this is also the part of self your mind also should be equally strong then your intellect your buddhi that buddhi also is the part of your self when you say i am a intelligent man i am intelligent means myself is intelligent we identify ourselves with intellect and that intellect is also necessary 
we will have to train our intellect so that we can develop confidence now suppose you don't have power of discrimination how can you develop confidence you see in our intellect there should be viveka we should be able to discriminate what is right and what is wrong if somebody comes to you and he brings a suitcase full of suitcase money to give you bribe now you have to think should i take this money if we accept that money that means you are weak you are succumb to temptation you have no courage you cannot discriminate but this money is coming in the wrong way it is adharma i know i should not take bribe it is not moral it is immoral you should be able to reject what is that is what swami vivekananda said anything that makes you weak physically mentally intellectually spiritually reject like a poison reject like a poison now this taking bribe is weakening you it is weakening you morally so you should have clear cut idea that i should not fall prey to such temptations i should have discrimination that this is making me weak why should i surrender i should do my duty honestly then only your confidence will increase you can say i never do anything wrong confidently you can say nobody will dare to tempt you when they know that this man is a man of principle he will never succumb to such temptations nobody will dare to you to offer temptations see this is also intellectual strength that is also part of self otherwise you can't have confidence and there are determination you should have tremendous determination i will do that means i will do any challenge is given to you you should be able to tell confidently sir i tell you i will see i will show you that i will complete this task it may be difficult but i have full confidence i can do that because you have determination in your intellect whatever work you take up you you know that you are you are able to do that when you have that will power then you can say confidently i will certainly do i must do but if you don't have determination you will say i cannot say whether i will be able to do i will try but i am not sure you see if you say say such things that means you don't have confidence you cannot say i will certainly do you are trying to escape you don't have, you don't have faith in yourself that should not happen you see there was a young man his name was manoj kumar pande he wanted to join army when he went for interview they asked him why do you want to join army you are a qualified man you are coming from rich family you can earn plenty of money outside but then why do why do you want to do this army job why you are interested in army what we will say we will say i want to serve my country we will say no i like this job you will say there is a security in this job many things you will tell but this person was confident he said i want to join army to win the paramvir chakra see tremendous confidence i want to join army to win paramvir chakra that means he want to do tremendous work in that field he is fully confident that he will join the army and he will do work in such a way that he will get paramvir chakra and for that he is joining 
and that same Manoj Kumar Pandey, he fought in Kargil War. While fighting with enemy, he lost his life. But then after death, Paramvira Chakra was given to him. See, he said that I will win Paramvira Chakra or I will die. That is determination. He had that confidence and ultimately he got that Paramvira Chakra. See, this is called confidence. That means he had tremendous willpower. I will certainly get Paramvira Chakra or in efforts I will die. I will die for my country, doesn't matter. Ready to sacrifice, this is the spirit. Such people only can say confidently that I will do my best. I have full confidence. I will fight till the end of my life. See, this is the way. At the same time, we should have heart also. You see, when you have heart, when there is love in your heart, when there is compassion in your heart, then you can face any problem. You will have tremendous confidence. You will not be afraid of anything. Only thing is, you should have heart. That is also the part of your self. When you say myself, that means your heart also is included in that. And when we have heart, we can even conquer the enemy. You see, love is such a thing. Jesus Christ said, love the enemy. Love the enemy, you see. How many people can love their enemy? They cannot love their relatives. They cannot love their friends. They cannot love their country. And you are talking about love the enemy. Very few people you will find. But then if you have that type of love, everybody will bow down to you. And that love will give you infinite confidence. I will tell you one or two examples. See Holy Mother Sri Sarda Devi. Along with relatives, she was going to Calcutta. She was going from Jairamoti to Calcutta and those days there were no vehicles. There were no trains or buses or nothing. Only by walk. Now this young girl, maybe hardly 15-16 years, along with other relatives, she started walking. And you know, there is a forest, long distance. And we have to pass through forest to reach Calcutta. Now it was well known that in that forest, there are robbers, there are dacoits, and they loot people. They take away everything. Sometimes they even kill also. People were frightened. They wanted to cross that forest daytime. Night means always dangerous. So all were running, walking very fast. But Sarada Devi, being a young girl, she was not accustomed. She could not walk fast. Those people said, Sarada, you are not able to walk. You see, now sun is setting. Now, if it is night and we are in forest, it is very dangerous. Sarada Devi said, you please go away. You don't worry about myself. I will manage. See, young girl, and what a confidence. I will manage, you go. Everybody left her. You see, Sukhame Sabasati Dukhame Na Koi. When she was in trouble, nobody bothered. Nobody cared. Nobody thought, no, we cannot leave her alone. How can we go away? Everybody ran away to save their lives. Sarada Devi was left alone. It became dark. One robber came. He stood in front of her. Who are you? Started shouting. Sarada Devi politely said, Father, I am your daughter Sarada. All my colleagues have left me alone. 
I was very much afraid, frightened. What will happen? But now you have come. Now I am relieved from all problems. These people, you see, they have left me. And when she said, "Father, I am your daughter Sarada," even that robber's heart was melted. He took her as his daughter, took her to his kutia, nicely fed her night. Wife also was there, wife and husband. They look after her as their own daughter. And next day morning, she took her to Calcutta and handed over to Sri Ram Krishna. See how that confidence came to mother because of that infinite love. She knew that she can manage robbers. Because robbers are also human beings, they also can understand the language of love, language of heart. Now, how mother could change that robber? He became a devotee because mother has that loving heart. So, when we have loving heart, then we can say confidently that I can face the challenge. Holy mother could face. Sister Nivedita was in a. London, Irish woman, and then Swamiji's lecture. She heard. She wanted to dedicate her life, but Swami Vivekananda said, "Nivedita, Margaret, it is not so easy. India is not a London. Here you are living in luxuries. There you don't have even a house to live. There is so much of poverty." There is so much of a summer heat. How you will able to survive in that atmosphere? You don't get proper food. But she said, "No, I will come because of her love for country, love for India, love for poor people, love for Guru. That Guru has asked me." She said, "Swami ji, doesn't matter. Whatever may be problems." I am ready to come to India. See, she had that confidence. How she could develop that confidence? Because she loved her guru. She loved India. She loved poor people of India. She came. She suffered. Ultimately, she died in India in Darjeeling. All these problems she could face confidently because. There was a love in her heart. So even the heart also is part of our self. So when we say self confidence, you see all these things will come. This is a one unit, and all faculties we have to develop to develop self confidence. So we have to develop body, mind, intellect, heart, and beyond that is self. That is the real self. We say Atman. We say Atma. Therefore, the word is Atma Shraddha, Atma Vishwas. That Atma, that consciousness, is within each and every person. But that that has to be manifested. Now it is sleeping. As long as it is sleeping, we don't feel his power. But then there is tremendous power within each one of us. Thing is, we don't believe. We don't have faith. We have faith in our physical strength, in our mental strength, but we don't have faith in our real self. Swami Vivekananda said, "All power is within you. You can do anything and everything. Believe in that." And do not believe that you are weak. See, Swami Ji, what he said: All power is within you. That means all power is within Atman. Because Atma Shakti, that is the infinite power, and that is there within you. That power was in Swami Vivekananda. He went to America alone. Nobody there to help him. Did not bother about anything. How much he had to suffer, but he had that power to face. 
every challenge in life from where that confidence has come to him because he had faith not only faith he had realization he knew that he was the self and there is no death for him nobody can kill him at the most they may kill his body but he knew that he is not the body he is the self within the body he could awaken that spirit within him when swami vivekananda said sisters and brothers of america 7000 people got up and started clapping what was that power that was divine power his words directly enter into the hearts of people because the same atman was within them also it is you can say the language of heart language of spirit not language of matter because that spirit is in everybody and therefore they could understand what swami ji said he sirf only char shabd bole america vasi bahno aur bhaiyo sisters and other brothers of america and those words directly enter in the hearts of people they got up they got inspired everybody was surprised only four words he uttered and how people are simply clapping how they got inspired by just four words that is a divine power and that power is within us and within everybody only thing is we are not able to awaken that we have to manifest the more pure our mind the more power will manifest purity of mind purity of heart concentration of mind all these things are necessary so therefore that is a real self you have infinite power you have infinite bliss you have infinite knowledge you have infinite life you have infinite everything is there infinite that's why it is called sat chid anand your nature is sat chid anand you have no death and therefore there is no fear of death confidently you can face the death because you have realized you are not the body you are the consciousness within the body when alexander came to india he went to himalayas and he found there one yogi he went to that yogi and he saw that sadhu was very happy he was living in forest he was eating fruits and roots there was no wealth there was no house to live but then he was so content and so happy alexander asked him sir what is the reason of your happiness i am a samrat i am the king i am the emperor but i am not so happy i am not content you don't have anything but you are so happy what is the secret please teach me that yogi said i will teach you but you stay here for some time he said no no i cannot stay here i cannot bear this heat and this cold but uh, i request you you come with me i will keep you in my palace i will provide you all comforts all luxuries so you remain with me and you teach me this knowledge so that i will be content and happy like you he said dear king it is not possible for me i cannot come to your palace i am quite happy in this forest i don't want to leave this forest and go anywhere that alexander became so angry he said no you must come it is my order he said no alexander i will not come then he took out his sword if you don't come with me i will cut off your head and that yogi started laughing loudly he was laughing he said my dear king alexander 
you are telling a greatest lie what you say you don't know how can you kill me are you cannot kill me what do you think do you think i am this body i am this self within this body i am immortal and you will kill me nainam chindanti shastrani nainam dahati pavaka न चैन क्लेदयंत्यापो न शोचयति मारुत अलेक्जांडर वेपन्स कैनॉट किल मी फायर कैनॉट बर्न मी वॉटर कैनॉट ड्राउन मी एयर कैनॉट वॉश मी अवे वॉट डू यू थिंक डू यू थिंक आई एम दिस बॉडी आई एम दैट इन्फिनिट सेल्फ आई एम इन्फिनिट नॉलेज आई एम इन्फिनिट ब्लिस आई एम इन्फिनिट लाइफ he was not frightened even death because he has realized when we realize then we get that real confidence that is called the atma but beginning we have to have faith unless we believe how can we realize if you don't believe in atman i don't believe in atman i don't believe in god i don't believe in rebirth i don't believe in law of karma everything you say just go on negating then how can you progress you see how that self will awaken within you cuz you don't believe in that you said not necessary i have all power are your power is only ahankar yours is only ego that is not real power that real power will come from the self when you forget your body so this confidence will come when the person can say i am not afraid of anything i can face even death i am not afraid of disease i am not afraid of enemy because he has gone beyond all sufferings he has gone beyond all even happiness this what we say so called happiness worldly happiness he has reached that state where there is only bliss without any suffering and when we reach that then will come real atma shraddha but now we have to believe we have to start our journey entire unit we have to develop we have to develop body we have to develop mind we have to develop our intellect our heart and then we have to develop their spirit also for that we have to regularly practice meditation prayer we have to read scriptures we have to do sadhu sangha we have to do selfless work when we do all these things then slowly 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 that self within us he will start awakening first we have to start with faith shraddha vishwas then will come realization and once you realize that you yourself will feel that how much power you have this prakriti is jada nature is limited but you can control this nature you are the god you are the control of the whole universe that you will realize only when you know who you are our shastra says tattvamasi you are that you are brahman aham brahmasmi satchidananda and this is what is called real self confidence faith in the atman but now this atman has become mixed with matter the consciousness and matter has become now one and therefore unless we have confidence in body mind intellect and heart that real confidence will not come to us when we develop all these faculties and when we awaken that spirit within us by practicing spiritual discipline then real that then there is no faith but there is knowledge atma gyan atma sakshatkar when you will have that realization experience of the atman then automatically all these things will come to you you don't have to believe then because that is the fact you will experience them this is a matter of experience then automatically faith will come all the good things will come to you that's why swami vivekananda said teach yourself teach everyone his real nature 
call upon the sleeping soul and see how it awakes power will come glory will come goodness will come purity will come and everything will come when the sleeping soul is roused to self conscious activity when that sleeping soul will awaken then what will happen power will come glory will come goodness will come purity will come and whatever is excellent will come to you everything will come whatever is good everything will follow you don't have to run after anything of this world name will come fame will come money will come everything will come at your feet because now you are a master you are the master of the nature now you are no more slave you are the god of the universe what is lacking for you everything belongs to you and since you are in everything then you will have faith in everybody not only faith in yourself but you will have faith in others also see abdul kalam when he used to work along with his team he was able to instill that faith in them they also used to feel that we also can do when people came in contact with vivekananda there that confidence was increased they also started feeling that we are the atman and we also can do wonderful things so we have to inculcate that spirit within others also that means you should have faith in everybody are you also have self within you you also have atman like me i have atman you also have only what is difference i could manifest you are not able to manifest but you try you also will become like me because the same self is in everybody and there is infinite power in you also not only in me so like that we have to teach people we have to awaken them then only our nation will progress everybody will feel that they have tremendous energy happiness joy bliss and everything they have only thing is out of ignorance they are not able to manifest because of their way of thinking always thinking i am useless i am good for nothing i cannot do this i cannot do that not knowing that they are able to do everything why you should think in negative way i cannot do you have infinite power you have infinite energy you have infinite knowledge then why should you deny the opportunity has come to you why don't you take that opportunity why don't you accept that challenge why everything is you say no 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 that is not the way to awaken that spirit and swami ji says arise awake and stop not till the goal is reach you should not stop until you reach your goal you should be able to overcome all obstacles in your path you should have tremendous confidence do or die i must manifest that self within me religion is realization that is what swami vivekananda said religion does not mean that going to temple breaking coconut doing some offering and puja and naivedya and repeating god's name and finish religion no to know who are you now you are thinking you are body mind intellect but that is all matter you are separate from them but since all these are combination now we have to develop all these faculties when you develop all these faculties automatically your confidence will increase and the power within you will slowly awaken it will start manifesting and ultimately you will realize that what you were believing all these days that is actually fact that you will experience it was not just blind belief it was the truth that truth was only hidden by ignorance adhyanena avrutam jnanam tena muhyanti jantava knowledge is hidden by ignorance that's why we think that we are body we are weak we are good for nothing we don't have confidence we don't have courage only because of ignorance so when you will know what you are in reality then you will laugh are how i was behaving how i was frightened of everything not knowing that who am i 
I am the God of the universe. I am the self. I am everywhere. I am in everybody. That experience you will get. For that also we have to regularly practice spiritual sadhana. And that is the way you will develop total confidence. Then even you are physically weak, doesn't matter. Now you know that my body is weak but I am infinite self. Within me there is tremendous power. You can fight with that spiritual power. Then you don't need other help. Once you awaken that spirit within you, you will get tremendous energy, tremendous intellect that nobody will be able to defeat you in anything. That is the way. And that is called real confidence, Atma Vishwas, faith in the Atman. But now, because we are identified with body, we say, I am the body, I am the mind, I am the intellect, I am the heart, I am the emotions, I am the thoughts. We say, when we say one way, that is also true, because that is a part of your self, is a one unit. Because since we are identified with body, we have to develop all faculties. Then only we can have that confidence fully. And when that realization will come, then even if you don't care for body-mind complex, doesn't matter. Then they will be your slave. Then you can command them. Because after all, they are matter. You are the consciousness. You are the master. They are the slave. They will have to listen to you. But when? When you have realized that? Till then you have to train these all faculties. You have to develop all good qualities. Then only you can reach that ultimate realization. And then, then only will come real confidence. Then that will be your experience. Then people will listen to you. They will follow you. They will imitate you. You will be a role model for others. People will see you. That you are not afraid of anybody. You are not afraid of even king. Our saints you are not afraid of anybody. They are not afraid of even death. So this is the way. And when we combine all these things and develop confidence, that is called self-confidence. So the first we must know what is self and then we must know what is confidence. Faith. First have faith in your physical strength, mental strength, intellectual strength, emotional strength and then strength of the Atman, Atma Shakti. But then for then Sharirik Shakti, Mansik Shakti, Baudhik Shakti is also necessary. Without that you cannot have confidence until and unless you realize that truth. Once you realize then all these things will automatically come. You will be Sarvadnya. All knowledge will come to you. Ratnakar became Valmiki. Entire Ramayan could come out from his mouth. He did not know Sanskrit. But where from that knowledge has come? That knowledge has come from within. Kalida Kalidasa was a fool. But when he realized that self, he became a Kavi Kalidas. Tukara Maharaj did not go to learn poetry, but when he realized the self, he could write so many abhangas, thousands of abhangas. From where that knowledge has come, that knowledge is already within you, but that is only hidden. And when you awaken that self, all knowledge will come, all power will come, all glory will come, all purity will come. All good things, all excellent things will come to you only when you awaken that divine within yourself. So, dear friends, this is the real self-confidence. We must know the entire aspect of our personality. And when we know the entire aspect of our personality and when we practice, when we realize, then that confidence will come. And that confidence will not be depending on anything outside. 
that will come from within because that will be your experience that will be your knowledge so try to understand the meaning of self confidence in this context in this way so that you will try to develop everything otherwise simply believing in self believing in atman but your other things are weak you may simply believe that will be only words but you will not be able to face any challenge so i have went to america how many educated people highly qualified great scholars and they used to ask all sorts of questions how swamiji was able to answer them promptly because he could develop that intellectual faculty and he was able to answer their questions correctly so all faculties we have to develop if you really want to develop your self confidence then all faculties you have to develop and ultimately know that who are you then will come real confidence so i wish you all the best we will conclude our topic here namaskar thank you om sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashantu मकशिदुखवाकशिदुखवाकभवे ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ तत्श्रीरामकृष्णापणमस्तू